Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Ryan Rastel here at Woolley Park Golf Club and today we've got a very special guest, Mr. James Robinson. Hello. So we're going to have a bit of a chat on the way around, talk yep. a little bit about all things YouTube and different projects that you've got going on, but we're also going to do a bit of a scramble and yeah. hit a few little kind of shots on the way around. This will be interesting because these are holes I generally don't film on. So okay, yeah, cool. people get So inside. no local knowledge? Uh, I've played them a few <laughs> times. I've played them a few times. First one here, is this the ninth? Yeah, we're this on the This is the ninth, yep. Oh, par three. Did you say it was 125? 125, playing about uphill. 130. Maybe even 135 into that wind. So. Show us how it's done. What do you think a good scramble score will be for us then, mate? For six holes, three under? You reckon? Is that good? I'd say so. Yeah. I'll make it six. Go. <laughs> got to go with that. Look at that. Has it? Oh, it stalled. Did the wind hit that? Yeah, that was... Uh, you might need to club up, right? Tough, I might. It's thin. Sit. Straight at it. Be good. I think that's long. We'll see, we'll see. <laughs> We've done very well there. It's good for light. Yards, <laughs> we? Taking this one right, yeah? Although it's quite a sharp downslope it's landing on it. <laughs> it's, not, it's not easy. We've, we've had a nightmare here, to be fair. That's pretty good. It's just hit the slope. We can hold that, James. Over to you. I think you're going to hold this. As long as I don't thin it like the uh, tee shot, we'll be fine, won't we? <laughs> Way left. <laughs> yeah. Sit. Great shot. Lovely shot. What do we think? A little bit left to right. Left, left to right? I think coming down this slope looks like it goes that way. I might be wrong. <laughs> well, I dare say you're not, because you play here all the time, but... I don't think there's a lot in that. Maybe a bit of left to right. It does look pretty straight, I think, but yeah. All right. That was just a push, mate. I think it's straight. Oh, James. How was that? Not what has happened? <laughs> <laughs> well, one over, better ball. That's, yeah, well. 300 still up. Yeah, it is, it is absolutely, it is. So James, between holes, what got you into playing golf? Talk to us a little bit about that. Funny story, actually, because I, I used to hate golf. Okay. Um, so like being a, from being a young kid, my dad always loved golf. Yeah. Um, so he, he definitely is the one that got us into it. And like my brother's always been very good. He got down to scratch. So I think as soon as you put a little bit of a sibling rivalry in there, obviously you, you more want to, you've done really well to avoid that log you by the way. Can we top, just, yeah, well done. Um, yeah, I think as soon as you throw anything like that in there, it helps like family holidays and stuff. And if you didn't play golf, you weren't really doing much. So yeah, I think that, that definitely helped get into it. And obviously from there, you've then, you know, we were talking about before, you spent just about every summer holiday and everything down the golf club and trying to get better. Yeah, we, we mentioned stuff. it in, in the podcast, didn't we, where it was very much, used to get dropped off in the morning, play three rounds a day sometimes, throw sandwiches in the bushes and, and just never even leave the golf course. So yeah. and I think for, for people our age, that's what you probably remember about your summer holidays. And yep. rather than being on an Xbox or a PlayStation or whatever and go, getting out there, getting some fresh air, getting some exercise, it was, yeah, really enjoyable, so. Oh, I was exactly the same. Me, me, me and my brother both play. PlayStation? No. <laughs> Dropped off down the golf club, picked up again at like eight o'clock at night mm. in the summer. And, I wouldn't yeah. have it any other way either. Me like either, I, no, no. I think it builds your character as well. Like, you have to be able to deal with adults and you have to be able to have your P's and Q's and I mean to be honest it's probably a lot more relaxed than it than it was then like you used to have to take your shoes with you and stuff and not anymore you just wear yeah, exactly, you wear something yeah, like yeah. this don't you all day and you're there so yeah yeah it's good though but yeah I mean a lot of like you say a lot of people our age and a lot of people who Our are, age? well we're pretty similar aren't we? how old are you I don't want to say <laughs> mid 30s so early, yeah early 30s, yes. maybe a bit further down the road than you but uh, <laughs> it, it's the same story isn't it and, and people that you talk about who who I've done the PGA with very much mm -hmm. the same you know it's kind of abandoned at the golf club for the summer holidays yeah. and off you go but that's kind of what you have to do to maybe get it is i'd be interested to see especially from pro level like i know we're pga pros but but the entire level of professional golf how late people have maybe started to get into it because yeah. i think if you don't start when you're early teens at youngest you're probably not going to get to that level unless you really put your time in in your late teens yeah i know uh, faldo is probably the exception i can think of who started you know sort of 14, 15 years yeah, old and, even, was, and yeah. was awesome by the time he was, uh, yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean, very, very good. Yeah. We need to talk about how we've just played that first hole as well, don't it we? It wasn't the best, was it? It was particularly awful. Oh, particularly awful. I mean, it's only a bogey. 
say that. Oh, that's another bunker, I think. Is it? <laughs> oh, here he is. That'll do. We'll have a bit of that. We will. We might make par from there. Maybe, if we're lucky. Good shot. That'll do. So, mate, we've got a chance to get on the green in two from here, I think. Every, well, you'd hope. Uphill. I've not got one of these fancy gizmos that tells you uphill, but it's yeah, uphill. It's slightly uphill, yeah. Into the wind. Probably played about 95, maybe. Yeah. Aerial route, I like it. Be on it. Spin back. Oh, that's back of the green, though. Big? I pulled it. I pulled it, but it might be the right length. Better distance. Better length. We've not covered ourselves in glory not there, really. Right? I'm happy with the line, don't get me wrong, but the length was uh, a little strong. Yours is a bit closer, a isn't it? A little bit less downhill. How often would you say you get to play golf without filming it or without... Um, just having a game of golf with your friends or something? It was one of my New Year's resolutions to do that, and I'm yet to do it. Right. Just because it, if the weather's good, then I feel like I've got a, I should be working. We're yeah. very lucky to do what we do and I think soon you start taking the mick a little bit and having days off and playing golf. Like I've always said, I've not got a hobby anymore. If you were an office worker, you wouldn't take an afternoon off. Well, you might do, I don't know, but you wouldn't take that time off, would you? No. So, like I, my hobby's been cars, as you know, of like, <laughs> yeah. And even that now. Well, they're too bloody expensive, aren't they? Well, there's that, and you can't <laughs> you can't put a baby in the back of whatever, can you? Tell you what, that is a very very good putt, James. Oh, double breaker. You get that? I'm scared. Go on then. Go on then. Oh, it's just, just going to be exactly the bit, same. Favorite hole on the course, this. Is it? Yeah. Why? Talk to me. It just, like, look at it. It's a nice hole, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Like, uh, never had a one on here. I've been very close. Me either. I had a one on the third, which was part of a video, actually, which it was a one, but it wasn't a one. Like, I hit three shots in, hold the second one. Oh, okay. So a lot of people say it's not a one. I'm counting it as a one. 156 we've got Have here. One. Got a little chippy seven. It looks good. That is a very fine shot, sir. Oh, that. that was my David Ledbetter swing, that one. Was it? Travel. Yeah, nice. I think yours is better though, mate. Well, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> Again. What would you say then, when, when you're playing regularly, what's the best part of your game? Hard to say, because last year I puttered phenomenally. Okay. And then, so obviously you've changed putters. I have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, so I was talking to Ryan, we played the old course, and it's actually a video that's not out yet. I'm not running too much, but I had a, like a really good score going. It was an easy day, it was flat, calm, um, but it didn't hold a thing. Like, I ended up shooting an okay score, but just fed up of not holding anything. Yeah. And like, I went out to America a couple of times, back end of last year, start of this year, same story, not holding anything. I just thought, this is like the old, change. the old X, faithful, yeah. yeah always stays like in the in the wardrobe or in the garage yeah. or whatever and mate just just bench the other one for a bit i'm not saying it's the end but <laughs> we're just we're seeing other people at the yeah. moment so yeah, fine. yeah, good. yeah and i think golfers relate to that i i imagine i had a lesson with chris who's a very good putting coach and yeah i saw that video, he said well it? your stroke's terrible <laughs> so i said well i better change the putter then haven't i but it's you seem to be more repeatable with that yeah is that is that kind of the it's just a confidence thing like I've, I've had some of the rounds of my life with this and generally roll it good i think i went through a stage of putting like i said very very well last year um but yeah i think a change is as good as anything sometimes i think even the best golfers in the world will uh will agree to that so probably should practice more but what would you say is the weakest part then Sometimes I can just not see a fairway. Okay. I can just stand there and I could hit 10 balls and not hit a fairway at all. Is that with a driver or just Anything. with... Right, okay. Yeah. Anything. And when that day happens, like, it's bad. <clears throat> so, generally it just goes left. That's maybe why you're putting so good, is it? Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's admit, for the first time ever, I played with half a set twice before Christmas. It's good, isn't it? And shot two of the best rounds yeah. I've shot in a few years. You're like, it makes you engineer shots, which... Obviously, having a full set doesn't always do, especially this time of year when 
I'm not going to lie around, it's just lighter. What are we thinking then, mate? Local knowledge on the greens? I reckon this is outside left. We've got downhill <coughs> put again, which is ridiculous to leave. But I reckon that's probably a cup, cup and a half. Stay up. Oh, that's gone. That's gone a long way. It's a nice layup, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep making the pars. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Turn, 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 oh, we've got it. Oh my God. Well. Well, we need an eagle somewhere, mate, don't we? We do need I'll an I take eagle. it you've knocked that in, yeah? I've knocked it in for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah don't worry, I'll give you that even. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Is it a driver? Just for you, mate, the way you hit that. Oh, just come a little bit. Should be good, that. Yeah, we'll have that. Nice. Well, that'll do. So recently, mate, you've signed a deal with Puma. Yeah, talk yeah. to us a little bit about how that came about and what you think that's going to kind of open up for you going forward. Um, I mean, for me, it's obviously there's no game around. It's one of the biggest sports brands in the world, not just in golf. And uh, I love the idea of kind of cross-pollinating content as well. So um, obviously having worked with Adidas, Castor and, and Reflow in the past, they're three pretty big names. And then Reflow obviously up and coming in the kind of recycling world as well and, yeah. and stuff like that but um yeah just it came about obviously i don't you don't know do you You just kind of meet people and get talking and i've worn the shoes for a long time which helps and they're really really comfy is it the gs fast ones you've got yeah these ones yeah. yeah so like the like slippers and obviously you yeah. can say obviously i'm sponsored and i can say what i want about them to be honest and these are definitely my preferred ones and they're really comfy and then we just got talking and they had a spot and said yeah Perfect. multi multi year so a little bit more uh, continuance as well, rather than chopping and changing, so. And like you say, the access you're gonna get then through you know, other sports, as well as some of the golfers that they look after must be pretty exciting as well. Yeah, absolutely. And like the, the more content for me, the better. Like people who follow my channel, I feel like I deserve, to, or they deserve as good a content as possible. So anything that can open doors like that, and obviously, a sponsorship in, in, in involves finance. Look how far your drive's gone. Down, right? <laughs> uh, involves obviously financial reward as well, which we're running a business. It needs to happen, and yeah, all in all, I think everyone's a winner, really. Very so, good, very yeah. good. Does that mean we're not taking yours? Well, yeah, we'll keep. <laughs> three one though. You wonder why I didn't hit driver? We've got a good chance from here, James, haven't we? You we hope so. Have. We should have. Although it's downhill. I don't. Yeah, but you're going to take. Maybe too close, are we? I you're going to take the aerial route, aren't you? So. Absolutely. What have you got? 60? I've got 60. Downwind. Don't know what it's going to do when it lands, that's the problem. Sit. Great effort. That's a chance. That's pretty much what I was trying to do. Oh, that's filthy. You've cut the legs out from underneath that. I can't believe that stops you. No, me either. You've played that so well. <laughs> Left edge firm. You reckon? I'm putting my putter away. You, you think? You're that confident? Yep. I'm not. There we go. That's a birdie by yourself, that by it's, my well, Yeah, it is actually, yeah. What golf ball have you got? What do you use? I've got a Pro V1X at the moment there. Is that what you generally use? Or? I've got it out of the bag. Okay. Um, I quite like the Pix balls and the, yeah. my favourite one last year was the Stripe. Okay. The Tor Response Stripe. Yeah. Three piece urethane, so similar makeup to a Pro V, but really enjoyed the feedback you got off the roll. Had a hole in one with it as well. Wakefield, that was Wakefield Golf Club. Not that you mentioned hole in ones very often, but well, okay. if the cap fits, <laughs> indeed. Smoked. There we go. I'll do. Just down the right hand side in the fairway. Oh, we've turned one over, James. It might still be okay. Sit. That's in the trees, that. Mm, might be just short, you know, I've seen it bounce twice. How are you finding the triple diamond? Love it. Oh, like this is the first it. time I've hit it outside, but those first two were nice. This one obviously hit it a bit harder and just yeah, turned it over. back but, now, yeah. But um, no, I really like it. I tried it with a few different shafts in, and this one just seems to be a bit more stable when you're yeah. hitting it. The, I'm uh, a hazardous black. man all day. So I tried the eight degree and for some reason couldn't flight it at all. So went for the nine, which is, I mean, I've been hitting seven degree drivers for years. Yeah. This in a nine for me just just spins awesome as well, and you know those last two shots have been good. That one just turned over a bit, yeah. but still, it's okay. I think distance wise, it's interesting. It's okay, isn't it? I got to spend some time with the, the Callaway Tour guys in LA, and they were saying people were lofting up on them yeah. because of that low spin. Um, the launching nice, still getting good numbers and going a long way. Interestingly, I'm nine. They fitted me down into 
eight and a half, eight point two five. That kind of cranked down yeah. a bit. But I've got more equal weights, so okay. rather than the heavy fourteen and is it fourteen and two? Two, yeah. It's eight and six. Okay. No, ten and six or something <clears> like that. <throat> so it's more even throughout the head. Okay. Which is an option, but. I just love the way it looks, you know, without yeah, that chevron great, on the top, it? it looks yeah. great. You know, I think when I've done reviews, I, I, I don't know, I wasn't very complimentary about it to start with, but I, it's actually grown on me massively, and I think it, yeah, I think it looks really good. I loved it from the moment I picked it up. I just think it's a long time since we've had something that's so different. Like, their whole thing is shifting the game, that yeah. paradigm thing, and obviously I know a lot of that's marketing, but it, the numbers don't lie, it seems to be the best performing drive of the year, doesn't it, for a lot of people? It so. has been for me. I mean, I've been between this and Stealth, if I'm honest, the Stealth 2 Plus. Yeah. Um, but for some reason, this just flights a bit well, I've used a tailor driver for the last three or four years. I don't know if it's just something in me that wanted a bit of a change, but like, the numbers don't lie, do they? It's just no. a little bit, for me, better, so. Be good to see how it does. So this week, it releases at retail as well, so. I mean, I've had a lot of people come for fittings, wanting to try Paradigm specifically. Big so, story around it, isn't it? Big yeah, hype. huge, yeah. And the, the sort of marketing engine of Callaway has really gone into overdrive, hasn't it? 134. 134, uphill into wind. And we'll try and chip a seven. Yep. Mainly because it's an eight and I don't have an eight. Yeah. But this is what we spoke about earlier, isn't it? He's called it. Go. Fly a little I think bit. I have taken too much off that. It's okay, isn't I it? I think that's okay. Tour average. Turning. Keep coming. Oh, the strike was good. Yeah. Just a bit of a shove. Oh, oh my. It's huge. <laughs> it was like a stabby eight. Oh dear. Pick us out, right? We'll use mine on green. Yeah, good one, yeah. yeah. That is a terrible. Honestly, I nearly missed that. Bobble the bit. I came out of the X that. Did it? Yeah. The X go and give it to you. Oh. Hit it through everything. Ooh. Did a lap. Right, level par, we need to birdie the last to get under. We do. Do we tell them why I have it three wood off every tee? Yeah, come on. Do you want to go through what's in here? Because I know you wanted to. Yeah, so yeah we'll I talk like about this. It, Nothing to do with this, I like this. I, I, don't, I don't think I need it in that forward setting. I think I'll probably have to today move it back a bit because it's just you don't, I don't need it like mega low spin. Um, but my life is spent very similar to you reviewing golf clubs. And I even said to Ryan, I've got the same driver as you in the bag today. And then... Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a 250 quid driver from Decathlon. Decathlon's finest. Yeah, yeah, quite enjoyed reviewing it. It doesn't quite get the numbers of a Paradigm or a Stealth, which you wouldn't expect it to. Um, but I just I prefer hitting this. So I irons, forgot it was in there. Irons we spoke about, you've got Mizuno, yeah? Yep, nine, two, Recently threes. Recently fitted for them. Very, very nice. Wedges, Vokey. Wedges are Vokey, but I've had, for the last few weeks, the new... Uh, Mizuno S23s okay. in a raw finish off the tour van. So good. I might even know because we ran a giveaway on uh, Get Good at Golf on our Sunday club oh, membership Sunday club and a, a guy won them and he's been emailing me like two weeks. Uh, he sent those wedges yet? Yeah. Because I've, <laughs> I've had them in the bag. I've had them in the bag and yeah, really, really nice. Love them. So I might stick them in. I, I've not used a Vokey wedge for years. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I mean, one. Bob Vokey, Vokey fitted them for me himself. Right. So I feel like I've got a I mean, they're obviously affinity. like industry number one all the time. I mean, but I think that's the same as the ball. I think that's more based probably on history than on performance now. Yeah, like maybe. you look at the Callaway ball, look at the TaylorMade ball, look at the Shrixen. Uh, even the new PXG one for me performed okay. I know other people didn't quite enjoy it as much. But for like, how good do you have to be to see those marginal gains realistically, I think? I, and the, the amount of testing me and Chris do on talking balls... You've got to be so good to see those marginal gains. Yeah. Like, really good. Shot. I think that's perfect. That's ideal, isn't it? And that's what I like about it. It sounds phenomenal. Yeah, it does. Nice. Yeah. Not a good strike, but it's in the right perfect. direction. We'll have that. So you've got lots of other stuff going on, as well as your own YouTube channel. So you've got Get Good at Golf with, with Chris. Yes. Yeah. So that's going really well. But also, coming up, your speaking at Bunkered Live, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm really excited for that. I, I love, and I think the, the pandemic sort of put pay to a lot of that, didn't it, for, for quite a while. Yep. So uh, I've done a few other kind of shows like that in the past, and I wouldn't say I enjoy public speaking, because I, I do probably will get a little bit nervous on the day, but once I get into it, I'll really enjoy it, and I'll enjoy a little bit of to and fro with people watching and stuff. And you got a nice PowerPoint prepped and ready? No. <laughs> no, I'm not that kind of guy. You're thinking on your feet, yeah? I'll probably write it on the way down. Okay, and yeah. will there be, are there people going to be asking you questions as well, or is it just... If they want to ask, they can ask. Yeah, yeah. cool. Um, I might give a little bit of a golf lesson to someone. I might 
I mean, I've been very lucky to, to, over the last year, have a lesson with Pete Cowan and David Ledbetter. Wow. So what I don't want to do is try and explain what they've told to me to a mass group of people, because I'll probably get it wrong and kill it. Yeah. But what I might do is try and dumb it down a little bit for people and just give them a little bit of an insight as to what we spoke about and how it helped me. Because I feel like it has helped. Like, I feel like if I'd practised more, it'd certainly help a lot more. Like, by more, I mean at all. <laughs> um, I just, I need to practise it more. Yeah, and I think that the sort of things that those guys teach is fairly unrelatable to the mass golfing market. You'd, you'd think that, but like, especially the, the Pete one... I just think it's very technical, isn't it? It is yeah. technical. Like the, the, the Cowan stuff was really, really good. Yeah. And I've watched it back dozens of times myself. Whereas the Leadbetter one was more, just move it here. Yeah. And that was, like, that was for me, like, simpler. Like, treated me more like an idiot, which yeah. is perfect. Because that's how I need to be taught. I mean, I've always... Uh, my three was nearly up your driver here, yeah, can we just it's pretty good, say? isn't it? You've hit that absolutely awesome. But mine's on the fairway. It, yeah, well. <laughs> what did say? Uh, even a blind squirrel finds the well, occasional exactly, yeah. yeah. Three out of four fairways, right? Yeah, okay. yeah, I'll accept that. <laughs> yep. Oh, I'll be the number. Drifting a bit. All right. Oh, he can. And he's faded it in. Okay, Can't hit now. Nice. That's a stunner. And this is, you know, when we talk about half set. Yeah. How easy was that? Little nine iron. Oh. E, that's that's for eagle. That. Can we I, zoom in on that? I've I've. Hit How was your full blooded sixty? It wasn't full blooded. It was a fifty. Three quarter fifty. <laughs> it was a fifty. <laughs> fifty degree. <laughs> did you hear that shot that's just come from that tee? I did. What's he at there? I don't know. <laughs> but I think it may have had a plastic bag over the top of the head when he hit it. Stayed there. Finished right behind the old well, as well. It was firm, weren't it? But it was firm. There we go. Oh my. Well, not our best stuff. But under par. James, thanks for joining us. Anytime. Firstly. Thank you for uh, having me. It's great to get out on the golf course for the first time this year. Yeah. Um, absolutely awesome. I think I need to get a bit better than that. But hopefully the sunshine carries on. Yeah. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can do this again soon, mate. Absolutely. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Appreciate Cheers. it.